Alright, you guys, sorry about that. Um, I had technical difficulties. But anyways, um, so after you click next, next, and you watch that, um, that short 30-second ad, you get a citation that looks like this. And so now, this is the one that you're going to grab and you're going to paste right under here. Okay? And then, the last thing that you have to do is you're going to summarize the article in five sentences or more. So, um, obviously I already read it as I was waiting for this to figure itself out. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and summarize it. So let's see. Um, where is it? So Trump decided to end DACA for children who were who are undocumented and have been living in the U.S. since they were very little. What else does it say? So delay is uh, part of a move to pressure Congress to pass new legislation. So Congress, he is hoping that Congress will pass new laws to help these children. Um, bargaining, people are not horses. However, people are not horses and they have feelings and dreams that they aspire to. Let's see. DACA has shielded more than 785 young people in the U.S. from being deported, allowing them to work, go to school, and lead lives as normal as possible. DACA has helped many people be able to work and study without having to hide because they are undocumented. And then one more sentence. White House announcement sets a timeline for members of Congress who want to continue. So there is a timeline for Congress to act and create a new law to help these dreamers. Okay, so there you have it. So number one, two, three, four. So altogether you're going to be using three different things, maybe four different things, if you include this um, this worksheet, this online worksheet. So you're going to be using this, you're going to be using um, the human rights list, okay, and it's down here. You're going to be using EasyBib, and you're going to be using Google so you could search up an article, okay? Um, and then obviously the handout that you're going to have. Make sure you guys work as a group. Um, it, it makes it easier on you guys, and I don't mean like you know, one person does one, another person does another, because working as a group means that you guys are collaborating and sharing with each other, not that you guys are splitting up the work. So, um, you're just going to be doing four. You're going to be doing the same thing I just did right here, about four times, and that's going to be your assignment for today. Once you are done on your worksheet, it'll say turn in right here. All you do is, your t is you turn it in. And if you've already turned it in, make sure you unsubmit it so that you can add this summary of the article in five sentences or more. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I hope you guys are being good, and I hope to see you guys when I come back. All right, bye guys.